I am so glad that you have joined us this morning. Why don't you turn to your neighbor and say good morning and Merry Christmas and that you're glad they're here. Hey, 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 hey. High fives, high fives. Y'all are going to sound great. Sound great. Sound great. Today is going to be a joyful day here at Christ United Methodist Church. My name is Julie Henson, and I'm one of the pastors on staff to our modern worship community that is worshiping today at 4 p.m. down in Underwood Hall. We would love to know that you are here today. If you could look at your bulletin on the back of it, there's a QR code, and that is a great way for us to get connected with you, to learn a little bit about you, to see where you would like to get connected here, and in the new year, see where you you might want to study and worship and plug in here at Christ United. We have a wonderful sermon series starting at the beginning of January called Three Big Questions. It's based off of a book, and it's a wonderful book around belonging and identity and purpose. So we hope that you will join us in the new year for that wonderful study as well. We want to thank our ASL interpreters who have come today to be part of our service of worship. And we're so glad you're here, and we're so glad that you have come to be part of this service to be more inclusive as the body of Christ together. There were several things, kids, as you walked in the doors this morning that you could pick up. We have candles for Silent Night Later. We have glow sticks for those of us who are not to be trusted with candles yet. And we have ornaments, so kiddos. If you have your ornament, can you raise your ornament up? All right, you're going to hang on to that ornament, and a little bit later in the service, we're going to invite you up based on what ornament you have to hang it on the tree. So hang on to those, and you will get to come forward in just a little bit. Finally, we want to say thank you and welcome to our children's choir and our CDC preschool music and choir for being here this morning. They're going to help lead us in a few songs, and it's going to be a joyful day. Again, welcome to worship. I am so grateful that you are here to celebrate the birth of Christ with us. Let us stand as you are able in body and spirit and sing together. Good Christian friends, rejoice. During the season of Advent, we lit the candles of hope, love, joy, and peace. Today, we light the Christ candle, the center of them all, and remember that Jesus was sent to bring hope, love, joy, and peace to the world. Glory to God. Amen. our children's choir and our CDC preschool choir to come forward and lead us in worship.
Good morning again and Merry Christmas. I am Kristen Steed, the new Children's Ministries Director here at Christ United, and what a joy it is to be here with you all today. My name is Laura McGuire. I am the Assistant Director of Children's Ministries here at Christ United, and I'm just excited to be here as well. So we are going to read a very special story today. It is the story of Christmas. And as Julie mentioned at the beginning, we also have very special parts for you all to play. So this is whenever your ornaments are gonna come into handy. So after each section of the story, we're gonna sing a carol together. And then during that carol, we will let you know which ornament comes up to the tree. So we have two trees down here and one tree up in the balcony. So pay close attention to whenever we share that it's your turn with the ornament. Are you ready to get started, Laura? I'm excited, let's go. Okay the story of Christmas. Once there was a faithful young woman named Mary. She lived about 2,000 years ago in a town called Nazareth. She was engaged to be married to a man named Joseph. One day, an angel appeared in front of Mary. Hello, Mary, the angel said. God is with you. Don't be afraid. God sent me to tell you that you will have a son. You will name him Jesus, and he will be very important to many people. But I'm not married yet, Mary said. How is this going to happen? The Holy Spirit will come to you, the angel replied. Your son will be the son of God. Wow. When Mary told Joseph about giving birth to God's son, he didn't believe her. But Mary remembered what the angel had said, and she trusted God. The next day, Joseph told Mary, an angel came to me in a dream. He told me, don't be afraid, make Mary your wife. You will have a son with her and you will name him Jesus. He's going to save people from their sins. Mary smiled a big smile. She was so happy that tears of joy filled her eyes and trickled down her cheeks. She felt Joseph's love again. I'm not scared for you to be my wife, Mary, he said. I will be with you and we will name the boy Jesus. At this time, if you have the angel ornament, bring them down to place on the trees while we sing. The angel ornaments.
One day, when it was nearly time for Mary to have the baby, Joseph said, we have to go to Bethlehem. The emperor has ordered that all of the people need to be counted. But Joseph, Mary said, what about our baby? He will be born soon. We'll go slowly, Mary. Bethlehem will be crowded, so we need to leave now. So Mary and Joseph journeyed to Bethlehem to be counted along with all of the other people. It was cold when they arrived. Joseph knocked on many doors looking for a room, but everyone said no. Finally, an innkeeper answered his door. At this time, if you have the donkey ornament, it is your turn to place them on the tree, the donkeys. I have no room, the innkeeper said, but you can stay in this little stable in the back. It's warm and the hay is fresh. Joseph, Mary said, I think it's time for the baby to be born. That night, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She laid him in a manger. All of those with the Jesus nativity ornament can now bring them up to the trees with the baby Jesus nativity. Outside of Bethlehem, shepherds watched their sheep on the hills. Suddenly, an angel appeared. Don't be afraid, the angel said. I bring wonderful news. The child God promised was born tonight. Go to Bethlehem. You'll find the baby laying on a bed of hay. 
the shepherds were amazed. Suddenly, many angels filled the heavens. They sang, glory to God in the highest and peace to all people on earth. Let's hurry, one shepherd said. The shepherds found the baby Jesus asleep on a bed of hay. The shepherds told Mary and Joseph, the angel said the baby is the Messiah, the promised one. He is the one we have waited for. But this is a stable. Would this special child be born here among the animals? Mary smiled. She knew that Jesus was Emmanuel, God with us. Later, The shepherds returned to their sheep, praising God for all they had seen and heard. If you have the shepherd's staff or the shepherd ornament, it's your turn to place them on the trees. Three wise men looked into the clear evening sky and saw a bright star. The wise men had been waiting for a king to come into the world. The star is a sign that the king has been born. We should follow the star to find him, one of the wise men said. They left their homes and traveled far to meet the new baby king. They wanted to worship him and give him gifts. Along the way, they stopped and visited King Herod, the ruler of that land. When King Herod heard that the baby king had been born, he worried that the baby would grow up and take over his kingdom. So King Herod pretended to be nice as he said to the wise men, why don't you find him and then come back here and tell me where he is? Then I can worship him too. If you have the crown or the star ornament, it's your turn to bring them up to the trees.
The wise men followed the star and found baby Jesus in Bethlehem. They gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These expensive gifts were fit for a king. Jesus was indeed a new baby king who was God's promise born for us, a gift to all people. If you have the gift or the present ornament, it's time to bring them down to the tree. If you have any other ornaments left, this is also the time to place them on the tree, just in case. join me in thanking our wonderful children's ministry directors, Kristen and Laura, for leading us in the Christmas story this morning. As we are reminded through the last gift, which was the ornament on the tree, this is the season of giving. And so we come now to the time in worship where we give back to God because God has given us the greatest gift and God has first given to us. There are many ways to give here at Christ United. You can give through our Venmo account. You can also give through our online giving platform at cumc.com slash give. Or you can give through your tithes and offerings that you can put in the offering basket as it comes by here in just a few moments. But know that your offering today, your gift, goes to support the vital ministries of the church. Those ministries of the church are not only vital within the walls of the church, but outside the walls of our church to make an impact in our community. We believe our facilities facilitate our mission, and we thank God for you and for your generosity and for the opportunity to give today to the glory of God. Will you join me now as we go to God in prayer? Let us pray. Gracious and eternal God, with all that we have, and all that we are. We offer our gifts and our lives to your service and to your glory, both today in this Christmas season of giving and every day as we choose to follow you once again. It is in Christ's name we pray. Amen.
I invite you now to join me in our prayer of thanksgiving that is on our screen. Lord and giver of all good things, the Magi traveled for miles to bring the Christ child, the first Christmas presents. So we, we too remember with thankful hearts the love that comes with each present we open. We thank you for the love you have for each of us and for the many gifts that you give us. Help us remember your great love born in Jesus Christ for us every day. Amen. I'm so glad you know the song. <laughs> but let's light the candles first. And a couple of instructions as we light the candles. As the light is passed down the row, let the person with the unlit candle tip so that you're not dripping wax onto, um, onto any of your beautiful clothes or your hands. And the ushers will bring it down. Um, kiddos, if you have glow sticks, go ahead and crack them so that they, you can see them. Let me see your glow sticks. Beautiful. We will begin lighting as the ushers make their way down the aisle. I invite you to stand as you are able. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. Let us sing Silent Night together.
May the birth of Christ this day bring love into your hearts and your homes, bring hope that lights up the darkness, peace that surrounds and comforts us, and joy to the world. Amen.